Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will call the Budget, Finance, and Investment Committee uh, to order and say welcome back, everyone, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, first item on our agenda is to approve minutes. So moved. Thank Second. you, Commissioner Jordan. Seconded by Commissioner Sandlin. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. That motion carries. Uh, our investment report from our county trustee, Mr. Beatty. Thank you, ma'am. We have the reports, uh, and it's kind of uneventful from the investment side. LGIP is 23 basis points, so uh, short-term rates are still really low. But on the more positive side, tax collections are up for the month of December, and tax year to date, uh, we're up, as a percentage of the tax roll, about 7% from where we were last year. So it's been a very busy month from that perspective. Move to the report. Thank you, Commissioner Jernigan. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Salmon. Any further discussion or questions for Mr. Beatty? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Beatty. Thank you. Uh, if you will locate your fund condition report, gentlemen. Uh, our finance director will begin with the development tax collection. In the month of December, we've collected 36750 That brings our total to 431250 for half of the year, and we had estimated $1.1 So we're not too much on track. Is that a record for the lowest? <laughs> yes, it is. Every month in the row is a record from the previous one? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Let's go to cash balances, please. <coughs> we have 161,006,641 at the end of December. With 170 million 671 552 being operating funds, 3 million 335 being borrowed funds. I don't really have anything to and if I need bring to your attention here. I discussed a uh, um, report, and even though we're halfway through the year, there really was not anything major that she felt like she needed to. Um, discuss with us, but do you have any questions or comments for her? On the uh, revenue sheets, I think you're going to see exactly what uh, Mr. Beatty said about the property tax being more collected at the end of December than it was in the previous year, and you can check that, like in the general fund. You know, we're 56.97% collected compared to 52.32% collected in the prior year. And you'll see that in each of those funds that collect, uh, that have property tax. One question, the negative balance in the 189. The you remember? Negative balance in the 171. The, the, okay, hold on. <coughs> the negative balance in 189 is we have not borrowed anything for Stewart's Creek. Oh, okay, that's, that fund is set. All right. 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 And, and this know, is small. We're using those other funds, and that 551 we, we will clean up at some point. Actually, we're waiting until I get confirmation that everything is done at the ambulance. Okay. Because I've got 10,000, then I will be requesting to move 551 from that to cover that shortage. In okay. the kitchen. All right. Commissioner P. On the line item 125, I know we've changed the way that we account for that. Yes. Is there an easy way for us to see what's basically not earmarked or, or already uh, spoken mm -hmm. for. I need to, I, I will try to provide that. that you're right. Um, I mean, I don't have it easily to give to you right now in the documents that we have, but um, that's yeah. definitely what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be we just say, hey, there's yeah. 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 500,000 of us, but now we can yeah. 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 right. Yeah. right. You've got about three million. Well, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'd heard last. I right. just I just wanted to reconfirm that and maybe come up with some way that, you know, it doesn't have to be on this. Or Do you want to? Um, I mean, it's up to the rest of the guys here, too. Well, I mean, I think it's a good thing to have because I mean, that's a big thing, especially on, on nights that we talk about 
that yeah. <coughs> they, there might be a potential use of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, I, was really well, I didn't know if anybody oh, else had oh. any questions on the, on the revenue. I really just don't have anything negative to tell you about it. Um, on our refunding. Anything else as far as uh, sales tax? 5.6%, 5.4%, sorry, 5.4% ahead of where we were last year for five months reporting. That's good news. Mm -hmm. On our refunding, the uh, commission approved in April to refund several bonds, and we did it in two sections. We did a piece of it in December, and we saved $5.7 million. And then we did the last piece, December um, 14th. And on that issue, we saved $4.1 million. And the interest that we have on the new bonds is 2.037. How long, how long a term bond is that? It's the, no, no, no. This is the big one. This oh. is the big one that we did. It just fills. It goes to two, um, 2020. Okay, so we, uh, you know, if you have a 20-year um, we cycle, we were trying to stagger some of it to come due, but that was a smaller portion, though, wasn't it? come due next year when some more when some of the savings stuff. we were getting some of the savings quickly mm -hmm. we were recognizing the That's savings in the next year. like four Two years five. between the two issues mm -hmm. we're recognizing uh, achieving that savings in the next four years well we just got a you're talking about the note, the oh, you're talking about the note. The note yeah. all right now the note that's the other thing that was the other one um that we had 10 million and it was at 2.7 and we uh, refunded mm -hmm. it at 1.65 that's the short term. That's the short one. Okay. So we tied down nine year money basically till twenty twenty. Is that what you were saying for two point oh three seven? Yes. That's not bad. That's good. Yes. I like to borrow something like that myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two point two that's that's the other one. That's where we achieved achieved the four point one million dollars yeah. in savings. And the savings that as I was saying is that we've tried to structure that within the next four or five years. Mm -hmm. And just so that you know, and we had budgeted it in, uh, you may have forgotten, but on this $10 million that we knew that it was going to come due, that I had budgeted 400000 of that to pay off. So what we really are borrowing is $9.6 million. It just shows some that we are working some of that debt. Okay. Motion to approve the report. Second. And seconded by Commissioner P. Any further discussion? Commissioner Schaefer? Yes, <laughs> back on the revenue new resolution for County General. And I know the answer to this, but the total fees for county offices. Yeah, right, and that's, that's a lot. You have to think that what happened is in September they closed their offices, so all their fees in their office were turned, was turned into the general to okay. the county. So that's why you have that huge amount that's coming in. Mm -hmm. But comparison to the budget, it's still only 31% after six months? Well, think about it. Um, the, the, at this point in time, it's about 18%. See, really, they, they've turned, typically on the fee offices, they turn in okay. in April, I mean, uh, sorry, they turn in in okay, October. So for the first and time, the and it'll be in January the next time, so you really don't, you just only have them turning one, okay. yeah. one fourth of it. That's, that, that event kind of skews that number, mm -hmm. that turnover in offices. Exactly. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Uh, our insurance director, Mrs. Stinson, and she will present the financials. Good evening. Good evening. Give me, you need a report. This should be a packet. If you refer to that, we can cover the 
insurance done perform it. Two sixty four. The per employee per month for medical and dental for December is five hundred eighty four dollars and sixty two cents, compared to six hundred ninety six dollars and forty four cents for the same period during prior year. The average per employee is at six fifty eight fifty two compared to 686.70 for a prior year. When you combine our care here performance through December, the total per employee per month is at 613.99 compared to $645.20 for a prior year. Um, through December, the year-to-date averages were at $685.47 compared to the year in average of 718.92, and the plan is trending at, um, at a negative 4.7 percent below the prior year. We also had some increase in our revenue due to uh, drug and COBRA subsidy in the month of December, so that would have assisted our trend rate as well. Is there any questions on that before we move to the OJI? That's good information. Right, if you go to the 266 performance, Year-to-date um, cost totaled um, $469,956 compared to $532,266 for the prior year, representing 88% of last year's cost. The payments for the month of December were significantly higher this month, coming in at $219,512. If you look at the report, you can see that we had been at the lowest month in September at 37,257, the highest month we were at 60,439. Uh, the contributing factors on that is included in the total is not only our OGI payment, also our work comp expenses, both medical and settlement. Um, we were able to um, actually settle three suits in the month of December and that's reflected in that $219,000. We had one large medical claim as well. If you backed out those four events there, we would have <coughs> trended at $31,010 for the month of December. And we currently have 23 open worker's comp claims in the pipeline for us. <coughs> Any questions on that? So this, I mean, that spike was just the payout of seven notes. Yeah, we had four. You said that we had three settlements, um, and then one medical claim that was large. It was the medical claim alone was eighteen thousand and something. So those four things combined, they came in a little over one hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. Since we've gone over to the OJI, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's done as advertised. I mean, we we've got significant paybacks from that. The only question I've got after we've had some time to review is, how has it looked on our employees? How does it? Um, I think that. Do you get much feedback on that, or I mean, that may be that's a tough question. I know. Um, we do, and and particularly in some departments more than others, we do. Um, it depends on how closely the administration works with the employees as part of the OJI program. To be quite honestly. Um, it originates with the employee and then really the next level in that is the supervisor. The, whether the supervisor reports that up through their chain of command will tell you how passionate the administration is about what are we doing inside of our OJI. Um, it's, you know, it's one of those things, it, it's considered an insurance benefit and people in general of all insurance <coughs> plans have an entitlement um, theory when it comes to insurance. So they love it when it pays and they hate it when it doesn't. Um, our job is to implement the program the way it's been designed. So it, it you know, it's it's tough at times. Um, but to answer your question, it really just depends on the outcome of the claim as to what their opinion is on it. Thank you. Yeah. It also um, doesn't leave some of uh, other forms of government out of it, like uh, the OJI does, like the state, and some also some of the uh, uh, judicial aspects. Yeah. It removes some of the things that you would see inside of workers' comp, mm -hmm. such as um, settlement. There's no settlement clause inside of OJI like there is in workers' comp. Mm -hmm. uh, we had, I've actually pulled some information. Um, we had, for those, the clients that I referenced, right now we have um, 105 people totaled 
that half million dollars that we've spent on OJI um, for this fiscal year. So you figure 105 people tallied into that half million dollars, you're looking at roughly about $3,000 per incident is what it backs into. Um, we've had a lot of claims you know, that, we come, that come through and pay significantly more than end up not being paid. And typically when they're not paid, it's a procedural problem. So we have, um, I know that at the Sheriff's Office we're doing some retraining right now <coughs> to make sure that the procedures are being followed so that we can circumvent instances where claims are being denied simply because they didn't follow the protocol that's in place in the program. Is there anything else? Please. Sorry. Uh, that was your motion, Commissioner Salmon, seconded by Commissioner Jernigan. Commissioner Schaefer. Just a quick one, because I don't remember. We used, to, and I thought it was on this one, that one of these insurance reports that the Gadsby on the, um, how much it was coming, go, it was go, oh, seemed like it was going the, up 100000 a month or yeah. something like that, or it slowed that. down, and we've made changes in that. Is, yeah. We used to have it on there. We did. Yeah. It was down at the bottom. Right. Well, I'm, not, I'm not as old as I think. We <laughs> had. We're upsetting people, so we took them out. <laughs> That's not true. We had to recreate the report this fiscal year. We removed it because we weren't ready to report it, and I just never added it back in. No. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, is it stabilizing more? I hope it's got to be because well, with I mean, the changes with the made. changes that we did, it, it definitely brought um, the liability, the arc down, and the liability mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. But you know, if it's doing it, it was I like to hear some of those yeah, that go that way. Right. <laughs> okay. It's eleven million dollars a year instead of twenty-two million dollars a year. <laughs> well, I take the difference. Yeah. Oh, I mean. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, we do have a motion and a second, gentlemen. Any further discussion or questions for Mrs. Simpson? Thank you. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. That motion carries. Uh, gentlemen, if you will turn, please, to Section 3 in your notebooks. We will begin with our general fund budget amendments. And we have uh, three uh, amendments from the Sheriff's Department, Mr. Russell and Sheriff Arnold. And Mr. Russell, you have three <coughs> amendments, and these are three sources of revenue. Mm -hmm. This evening, uh, we got three simple ones. Uh, we had some material we recycled off of our uh, range where we recycled the brass. And so that's been taken, and uh, we're just down to Park Iron. We're going to get that put back in the law enforcement line out because uh, we'll buy some more ammunition for that for our training on the range. Um, and that's the uh, amendment number one. Number two, we're recognizing a partial amount of a, the burn justice grant. Um, the overall grant is $46,524. We're only going to recognize at this point $16,500 of it. Um, there'll be more to come later. And then the item number three uh, is a uh, SCAP grant that we got in. And that's, uh, that's gotten into the general fund. We now want to recognize those funds and appropriate those to to repair the maintenance of the building. Mm -hmm. And according to the guidelines of the grant, um, those funds are able to be appropriated to be designated to use for those for that, for that purpose. Great. Yeah. That's all I have this evening. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, Commissioner Schaefer, seconded by Commissioner Sandler. Any further discussion? <coughs> Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jarnigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandel. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner E. Yes. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Every time was so simple. Y'all are setting us up. We're waiting. It's coming in a couple months. It's coming. I know. Uh, oh, no, somebody carries a gun. <laughs> uh, Mr. Farley, uh, County Fire and Rescue. Good evening, sir. And we will start with um, the 15000 That's first on our The uh, we over Southeast Rutherford Volunteer Fire Department uh, January 1st. Uh, they uh, had the $15,000 left in the line of contracted services. And I wanted to move that up from from contracted services to uh, 8000 I believe it was 8000 into the uh, communications. And then seven thousand into the four ninety nine. 
And based with the communications, is it pays for the phones and the internet service at the station where they're able to get online to the reports to the state and federal government? Motion approved. Second. Commissioner Jordan, seconded by Commissioner Jernigan. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Commissioner Schaefer? Yes. Commissioner Eagle? Yes. Uh, next, Mr. Farley will ask uh, to um, authorize acceptance of a federal grant awarded to the Rutherford Volunteer Fire Department uh, and upon the same being transferred to Rutherford County. What this is, uh, <clears throat> when the Volunteer Fire Department was a volunteer department, they had uh, written a grant, and, and we expect to receive that grant because we received notification this week of the 10 questions that they send you to answer before you, uh, you, they award you the grant. Uh, what I'm asking tonight is that if we receive that grant, that uh, the county would pay the matching funds. Uh, that would, I think it's 50, that would be 26. 2615. The grant's for $52,318. Uh, and what that grant will consist of will be 16 sets of turnout gear, which is your coat, bunker pants, helmets, gloves, and Nomax hoods. Uh, and then rapid intervention team equipment, which will include that, that, that's used going in and rescue a trapped firefighter. This equipment includes the hydraulic rescue tools and rope equipment. And it's a 95-5 match, so it, it, they give us 95, and the county has to pay the 5%. Motion to approve. Right. Commissioner P, seconded by Commissioner Jernigan. Discussion? Call up, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Commissioner Schaefer? Yes. Commissioner Ely? Yes. Uh, the next item for Mr. Farley is a recommendation uh, from uh, Public Safety uh, to provide funding of up to $130,000 for the construction of a fire station for the Fosterville Volunteer Fire Department. The, I think the budget committee appropriated $55,000 yes. to help uh, Foster Millen uh, build a second station on Foster Millen Road, or Millen Foster Road. Uh, as we looked into this, and of course we started the county fire department, and I got the same architect to look at their plans they had given me and go over, of course, this right here kind of breaks it down of the, uh, the what they're looking at providing, the service that they're looking at providing, and basically just a shell of a metal building, uh, the construction of that's going to be $150,000. Fossil already has $20,000 in their, their accounts that they're going to add to this. Um, this second station, one of the purposes of this second station is that their main station is on the other side of the railroad tracks. So when the train comes through, if, if it's coming through and they have a fire call, they're trapped. Another advantage of this is when they put the station over in the Millen uh, area, this will also I mean that basically they have an ISO rating of 10. Uh, this will bring their ISO rating down to a nine when they build this station and they occupy it. That will lower the homeowner's insurance anywhere from a hundred, probably two hundred dollars a year on their homeowner's insurance. Now, I, in talking with with Chief Walker, they are in the process of that when they reorganize, getting all their paperwork in order, uh, doing all the testing of their hoses and pumps and stuff, and uh, all that's required to get another uh, evaluation from ISO. If that were to happen, which I feel very confident it will, they'll drop to a class eight, possibly a seven. That's another two hundred dollars. And these people in the Midland area that where this station will be built will realize that cost on their homeowners insurance. So the one hundred thirty thousand dollars that the tax money has been put out will be a big impact on those those households. I want to make a motion to approve. Yeah. Yes, of course we've seen this in public safety. One thing I do want to say in favor of building this station here is if you look at the history of our volunteer fire departments, of course, we've got a countywide agency going now, but it's still going to be years before all of these have been taken under, you know, our umbrella of the county fire department. And in this time, we still have volunteers that are willing, able, and, and very confident uh, 
our training has gone up. I mean, it's, it's just wonderful to see if you get out and work with these people some. I advise anybody gets a chance to do that. But uh, I think it's money well spent. I've looked at over 10 years ago, just looking at Wilson County, their fire budget was over $8 million a year. And ours is, as you know, is well, well below that. Uh, even with us occasionally every 10 years or so providing the truck. But uh, with these guys providing this service for us is actually saving us a lot of money and being able to put this department on par with the rest of them and get those ISOs rating down. Of course, that's going to put money directly in the homeowner's pocket. But it's also backing up other agencies. I fought fire in Foster Bowl and you know, people from Foster Bowl fought fire at Kittrell and vice versa all over the county, but that's, that helps every part of the county. But I'd urge all of these. And, and since the organization, they have done a tremendous job of turning that department around with their training, and, and uh, they've got a, a good board that's, that overwatches their finances and, and does a good job of that. And I, I mean, they just, from where they were to where they're at now, it's just, a, it's unbelievable the impact, they, the difference they've made, and they're doing a great job. Also, I feel like where this state is located, as the Rutherford County Fire Department, the county department grows, I look for it to be several years, seven eight years down the road before we'd ever take in um, that far out of the county. Of course, that's out there close to the Bedford County line. So uh, it's going to, I just think it make a major impact on the middle community out there and, and, and the citizens that live out there. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, too. This is, it will be a county owned facility. Yes, the, uh, the, the money is going into it. Well, this will be signed over, the land will be signed over to the county, the county will own it, but of course FOSS will, will utilize it as long as, long as they're a fire department. And then if, if long in, term lease. And then in the case that the county ever did take them over, then they, it would be a county station. I'll second motion. Thank you, Commissioner Jones. Mm -hmm. Commissioner We Jordan. already appropriated, what, 55,000? Yes. So we're just doing the difference between, we're just doing 75 additional. This isn't 130,000 new right. dollars. This 75. is just 75 right. additional from what we are, from where we already are. So mm -hmm. it's not that big of an expense. And my second question was, and it got answered before I got a chance to ask it, the county is going to hold deed to the property where something were to happen out there, you know, and or if they fall apart or something big, it would be a county building. Yeah. And also, I guess, volunteer labor is going to finish out this building. Yeah. Are they not? Yeah, I mean, and to some extent. And we looked at it, and of course, when we I first talked to the architect, they wanted a lot and key job. And of course, you know, it, with our building codes and all the things that have to be met, and the the uh, landscaping stuff that has to be done, it's just a, a lot bigger cost than what they realized. And uh, it, so, what we're going to do, hopefully, this will get us into a shell of a building with a heater. And then as time goes on, they raise more money, they'll finish out the walls and build an office and restrooms. Yeah. And, and another thing that's really going to help them, it gives them an avenue to where they have a big enough station where they can have fundraisers. So that in itself is going to help them have a, you know, they, the building they're at now, they just better get the trucks in there. This is going to give them a bigger place to set up tables and have community dinners, uh, fish fry hamburgers, whatever they decide to do. But this will give them an avenue to raise more money because of the station they have now, they don't have that opportunity. Commissioner Jernigan. Uh, Robert uh, has told some things. I covered part of the district is mine, and uh, the voluntary department in that end of the county is, for years has worked very hard out there, and they're very deserving of what we're doing right here. They bring it on part of it, I feel like the rest of the county. I know they're very appreciative. Commissioner Schaefer? Just exactly where is the land on Fosterville? Uh, they can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's two, uh, off uh, Chevrolet Highway. It's about two miles on the left on Midland Foster Road. As you're heading towards Fosterville. <coughs> As you're heading toward Midland. Midland? Yeah, I see. You turn right on, off of 231. Okay. Yeah, it's the right. On, on the you know, the railroad tracks at Foster Road, uh, the railroad tracks, they're on the other side of the tracks. This will give them a station on this side of the tracks, mm -hmm. and possibly and over in the middle of that area. Mm -hmm. And that, that's got to do with the ISO rating. When you've got a station on the wrong side of a track, yeah, that kills you. I mean, your rating will never, you've got to have a station on both sides or you'll never be able to lower your ISO rating. Well, pretty much those people out there in middle of the they said like they don't have a fire station. And when you when you got a class 10, it's, it's a big difference between that class 
to be the quietest man. This will be mm. coming from Tim, where is Fosterville's fire from? It, is, it, that's the one we're talking about yes, that's there, and it's on the yeah, east it's, side of the railroad tracks. Uh, Fosterville, oh. Fosterville Short Creek Road up on oh, yeah. there. You go down that road, and as soon as you cross the railroad tracks, there are stations right there. Mm -hmm. Of course, and my, there's, as you know, there's a lot of trains coming down there, and sometimes when they decide to stop, they stop right in front mm -hmm. of the station. And of course, there's not much they can do. Mm -hmm. So they got plenty of water. I mean, water and everything. Water is not an issue. We got we got enough the, water on the truck. It's just a station. Water. Water. Yeah. yeah. But like I say, one of the first things, the insurance company call me all the time, and they'll they'll ask about a certain uh, house that they're going to insure. First thing they want to know, well, how close is the fire station? And then with this right here, I can say, well, they're within five miles of that station, or two miles, or whatever. Gentlemen, we do have a motion and a second, and to clarify, uh, the the seventy five thousand will come from development tax. Any further discussion? <laughs> Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandlin. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Ealing. Yes. Mr. Farley, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, gentlemen, we have two uh, budget amendments from the Election Commission. Mrs. No. And the first one, um, there are maintenance agreements for 1,550 more than what they had budgeted, and so they're requesting to use the money they had budgeted in communications to help them fund those maintenance agreements. And the second one is I used the wrong daily rate in computing the uh, salary supplement. I'm short $631, so this uh, amendment requests to move money from 711 from part-time personnel to the salary supplement and related uh, retirement. I didn't want to claim this with the presence tonight. Um, I told them I would take care of it since, <laughs> since, since this was not there. Motion to approve. Problem was Sorry. mine. Commissioner Sandlin, second by Commissioner Jordan. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandlin. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Ely. Yes. Uh, county buildings. Uh, Mrs. No. Uh, Mr. Mankin needs $6,800 more to complete his fire alarm project at the Judicial Annex, and he is requesting to move the money from his uh, equipment line item into building improvements, $6,800. Moved Commissioner Jernigan? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Schaefer. What is just a bid? I think he went in more than what he anticipated. <coughs> Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandlin. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Ealing. Yes. Uh, we need to uh, correct some budgeting for longevity pay and related benefits for several departments. This is to uh, correct it to where it was actually paid. And there was $50 available from the county clerk's longevity that will cover the longevity in the Register of Deeds office, $25 available in uh, the jail longevity to cover the sheriff longevity. So moved. Commissioner Sandlin, thank you. Sure. Seconded by Commissioner P. It'll be our smallest one. <laughs> I don't think it's the <laughs> smallest one, but unfortunately, it relates to payroll and it crosses yeah. function, so this one will go to the commission. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandman. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Ealing. Yes. Gentlemen, turn to section four, and we have some solid waste sanitation fund budget amendments. Okay. This first one relates to the tornado damage where they had to move some phone lines. However, we just, of course, the tornado was 2009. We just received the bill for that. The revenue was already received. We already received the monies from FEMA to cover that bill. But of course, it's sitting in the assigned uh, fund balance. So this is a request to move $7,000 from the assigned into communications. 
So moved. Commissioner Sandlin, thank you. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Jernigan. Discussion? <coughs> Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Commissioner Schaefer? Yes. Commissioner Ely? <coughs> yes. This next one is similar to the other ones, which is correcting the longevity. And there's $175 available in the convenience center's longevity that will cover the uh, longevity that occurred in the litter grant. Motion approved. Thank you, Commissioner. Second. Jordan, seconded by Commissioner P. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Mr. Schaefer? Yes. Mr. Ely? Yes. Mr. Hooker? We have uh, a recommendation to approve acceptance of a grant contract with the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency, and this is relative to the May uh, 2010 flood, and we do have a copy of that. Yes. Uh, good evening. Uh, the federal government has allowed us to uh, have a uh, reimbursement grant uh, available to us. Approximately $68,000, uh, $65,000. This is a matching federal grant. Uh, for the first time in history, the federal government has offered to pay 90%. Um, it, I've been told it's probably the last time it will happen. They usually pay 75%. So it's 90% it's uh, federal government, 5% uh, state, or I'm sorry, not, yeah, 90% federal, 5% uh, state, 5% county. Uh, on this grant, and this is expected uh, to be uh, incremental uh, in payment. It will not be an overall lump sum. It's supposed to come in, in, in different uh, uh, time frames. So we're, uh, at, at this time, I'm going to ask for approval for this to go up to the commission to approve this, but also to approve any amendments that will come behind this uh, as the, uh, the grant process continues to put money into the in the grant process. Our match is 3400 then? Is that, yes, sir. Is that an If we approve amendments, uh, will we have to have a higher match? No, the match doesn't change at all. So you weren't going to get my vote if that was the case. <laughs> we well, we still would need to probably to come, come, come through, to come through yeah. to stick it in the yes, budget. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motion approved our match at 3441. Mm -hmm. And and to let you know, we've already we've, you've already paid the max. We have. Mm -hmm. I mean, all this is is a reimbursement for oh, all okay. the expenses that we paid out for the flood. So the expenses were paid out. It's just that we're getting reimbursed, but the county just has to, you know, okay. pay if a we piece of it. If we reject this, we're just beating one hundred percent to five yes. percent. That's exactly. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. okay. So the more they want to give us a ninety-five percent of what we've already spent, it's good. Thank you, Commissioner Sandlin has a motion. We need a second, second. please. Thank you, Commissioner Jordan. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P? Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Commissioner Schaefer? Yes. Commissioner Ely? Yes. Could I ask a question in relation to this? But this says the money is now coming in. The money has already been spent from where? The, uh, I mean, uh, the, the the sort team okay, expended but, money. The but it came from unassigned fund the, balance. Is that no? What? No, I'm saying that like when the flood happened, okay. you had the highway department out. Yeah. You had um, mm -hmm. the ambulance mm -hmm. sort team okay. out doing things. Yeah. Right. All the the convenience centers to try to put money back. in to help. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. We already spent the but money. We're, now we're asking for we're, reimbursement. So what fund is this money going back it, into? It'll be. It'll go back to uh, wherever it was expended out. Mm -hmm. So okay. we'll just have to go back mm -hmm. to the project worksheets to see. And uh, when we do get the money, then we'll separate out. We'll do the amendment then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Gentlemen, the next item uh, in section nine. Uh, is a recommendation to continue a contract for large dead animal removal for another six-month period and a related budget amendment. And this amount we paid 24752 that was only took us for half the year. 
And so you've got about 5000 left, and then we're requesting 10000 from the unassigned fund balance to be able to pay. The price is coming down. Yes, they did, oh, they did 20, reduce it. Right at 25000 mm -hmm. to 15000 mm -hmm. for six months. Mm -hmm. Right. The, 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 what, what was our, uh, tell Previous? me what, again, what our, yeah, our budget with Griffin. With Griffin was about 30, 30, I want to say 30. Budget. Yeah. We budget through. That's about what. So it's so it still will be approximately that. It'll be 40. It'll be 40. So we already done 25. Oh, but yeah. by next yeah. year, if this price holds, it'll be 30. If this were to continue in be the 30. future, yeah, it'd be 30. It'd be back to where we were before. Well, we were looking into some other avenues, yeah. weren't we? As far as right. The mayor still is looking okay. at options. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna ask. But six I'll leave it. Came up leave it at that. Okay. Well, okay. We're still we're still looking. Second. Second. Thank the Farm Bureau and Extension Service. Somebody's got a committee yeah. together looking at options at this time, even. Okay. Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum. Yes. Commissioner Jernigan. Yes. Commissioner Jordan. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandler. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Eagle. Yes. I've got a quick question sure. on this, and I, I meant to ask it before this vote here. I, and I know what we've got here is 10000 But you said there was another five because from well, my notes here, I'm showing that we, we actually needed 15 right now. You need 15. So look, we we budgeted 30. We spent twenty about 25. Okay, so so we, that's why I'm saying they had the five. All right. Just want to make sure we were covered and didn't have to come back on that again. So. Staying in Section 9, gentlemen, a recommendation from the Public Works Committee approving a proposal from Huddleston Steel Engineering for a feasibility study of Epps Mill Road. And that is uh, your next document in your notebook, and that is uh, for $4,900, and you have uh, a listing there of what all that would include. Second. Commissioner Jernigan, seconded by Commissioner P. Was that correct? Yes. Fill me in on this. I'm a little blank on this. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, what this is, Steve, when we uh, started uh, working on roads like we've done the road to Blackman first, then the mm -hmm. this hall seal pipe. And, and go back and look, this was uh, one of the next roads up. And uh, the mayor said that uh, there wasn't no way they could do all of it at once, so he's uh, getting the engineering on a section at a time. If you do do it, you'd have to do it in about three sections, and all you're doing here is getting a study from them to see what that cost would be. Uh, so that's about 30 miles high. Okay. What kind of timetable are we on as far as getting this back from them? Do we? Sure. How long have they got to complete this where we could, I don't, I don't see it having a timetable. Like how long will the feasibility study take? Yeah, how long is it going to take? I, 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 I think, think the way the mayor's talk, it, it, it took them uh, about 60 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there are a lot of houses live out that little narrow road past the interstate down, so. Mm -hmm. That is a narrow road. And we've got a major subdivision or two on out there. I know one for sure, and then plus mm -hmm. that industrial park. City sewer out right there, that changes mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. well, we have 10000 estimated in the budget for engineering services. So, you know, have so that's where this, we don't have a, that's where that's coming from, for the engineering service. Okay, we do have a motion and a second. Do we need further discussion? Call the roll, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Jernigan? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Commissioner Sandlin. Aye. Commissioner Schaefer. Yes. Commissioner Ely. Yes. Gentlemen, is there anything else that needs to come before our committee? Everybody just go home and watch MTSU win the football game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, gentlemen. We are adjourned. What time?